Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can build this typography effect using Vellum. Along the way we will learn how to use some custom masks to feed our Vellum simulation. So let's get started. So here's the final result of my setup. Let's start from the beginning. I used first a font to create the text using a custom font but you can find it for free online then i use an edit to place the letters uh, to arrange them then creating a match size to place them in the center and adding some thickness from here i can create a, a vdb from polygons smooth it and convert it to polygons as you can see and now after the thicken, I can split the, the primitives along the z-axis and group the unshared edges, convert to curves, resample them and re-project them into the, the converted VDB, the geometry. Then I create a curvature attribute on the curves and with, with uh, a value of 1 then 1 on the geometry with a value of 0 and do an attribute transfer as you can see so I have this result so I can have those wrinkles around the curvature areas and I'm playing with the blend, the blend width so I can get this nice transition then in here I'm remeshing by attributes, so using the target mesh size attribute and I'm remeshing between those values using the curvature so I get more polygons around the, the parts that will have those details as you can see I have more polygons in here probably can see it from the distance better and then I'm uh, animating the curvature attributes, as you can see, from 0 to 1. And I'm animating between frame 12 and 14. So I just want them at the ends. From here I'm creating my bounds or my collision geometry, which is just a box from a bound and creating the vellum cloth pretty much default settings and I saved this output group the stretch because I'm going to use it in the vellum solver and the vellum pressure this is just a vellum configure balloon then on the vellum pressure I am also saving the pressure group and then I have the vellum solver so in the vellum solver I am creating a vellum constraint property on the pressure group and animating between frame 1 and 15 the rest length scale from a value of 1 to 5.5 so just expanding the, the letters then I have another one on the stretch group where I'm loading in the mask and blending the rest scale with that specific mask between uh, the, ori the original rest scale or rest length scale and a multiplied one in this case by 1.8 and if we have a look at the simulation as you can see from frame 13 at frame 12 we don't have the, those details but from frame 13 to 15, we start to get them. And that was the desired look I was after. Then I'm just time shifting on frame 15, doing a vellum post process to smooth out the geometry and give it one level of subdivision. Deleting the attributes and creating a connect and just soften the normals 
Then in Solaris I'm importing the geometry and creating a material based on the class attribute we created with the connectivity nodes and from that I use a random material X random color and played with the U range and saturation and brightness and also the seeds and created that specific yellowish uh, color or gold color and I'm also uh, adding the meta setting the metalness to one and playing with the roughness and the coat attributes or parameters I have also a dome light in the scene and a light on the left side as you can see which is creating some nice reflections and if we render this as you can see we have that metallic look and those wrinkles are uh, quite visible so yeah this was a quick one just to show you how simple it is to build these typography effects you can as always grab the file on my patreon and yeah i hope to see you next time thank you